Hello, my name is Colin Rickson, lead docent here at the American Heritage Museum in Hudson, Massachusetts. Today is the 29th of January 2021. 31 years ago, on August 2nd, 1990, Saddam Hussein led a well-equipped Iraqi army into Kuwait, a major supplier of oil to the United States. On August the 7th, 1990, President George Herbert Walker Bush orders the organization of Desert Operation Desert Shield in response to Iraqi's invasion of Kuwait on August the 2nd. The order prepared American troops to become part of an international coalition in the war against Iraq that would be launched as Operation Desert Storm in January 1991. To support Operation Desert Shield, Bush authorised a dramatic increase in US troops and resources in the Persian Gulf. Operation Desert Storm was the first major foreign crisis for the United States after the end of the Cold War. The US and, and 40 allied nations, including several Arab nations, flew more than 18,000 air deployment missions, more than 116,000 combat air sorties and dropped 85,000 tons of bombs. 697,000 US troops took part in the war. The artifacts you see behind me and many other artifacts from World War I, from World War II, Korea War, Vietnam War and the War on Terror today, you can see here at the museum. We are open this weekend and every weekend. Thank you.